The 2008 financial crisis shattered trust in banks and governments, leaving people questioning the very nature of money. As the world searched for answers, a mysterious figure named Satoshi Nakamoto published a white paper, Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. Nakamoto's idea was radical digital money without banks or governments secured by cryptography, not trust in institutions. The heart of this system was the blockchain, a public, unchangeable ledger distributed across thousands of computers. Every transaction was recorded transparently, making fraud nearly impossible and removing the need for a central authority. For the first time, individuals could control their own wealth, free from intermediaries. Bitcoin's rules were set in code. Only 21 million coins would ever exist, preventing inflation and manipulation. This was more than a new asset. It was a blueprint for a financial system built on math, not promises. Satoshi's vision was trustless trust, where cryptographic proof replaced faith in third parties. The 2008 crisis had exposed the flaws of centralized money. Bitcoin offered a transparent, predictable alternative. It was an audacious experiment, a global, decentralized currency powered by software and belief. The world had never seen anything like it. On January 3rd, 2009, Bitcoin came to life with the mining of the Genesis block. Embedded in its code was a message, Chancellor on brink of second bailout for banks, a permanent reminder of Bitcoin's purpose. The first transaction soon followed. Satoshi sent 10 Bitcoins to Hal Finney, proving the system worked. For a year, Bitcoin was a playground for cryptographers and idealists, traded for fun and curiosity. The community was small but driven, united by the belief in a new kind of freedom. In late 2010, Satoshi Nakamoto vanished, leaving the project in the hands of its users. Satoshi's disappearance ensured Bitcoin would remain truly decentralized. No leader, just code and community. The mystery only deepened Bitcoin's allure. What began as an experiment was now a living, growing currency. The torch had been passed. Bitcoin belonged to the world. Its journey was just beginning. Bitcoin's first real-world use came in 2010, when Laszlo Haniec paid 10,000 Bitcoins for two pizzas, now legendary as Bitcoin Pizza Day. This simple act proved Bitcoin could buy real goods, not just exist as code. Soon, Bitcoin found another use Silk Road, a darknet marketplace where it became the currency of choice for anonymous transactions. Silk Road's notoriety brought both demand and controversy, linking Bitcoin to the world of illicit trade. Yet it also showcased Bitcoin's resilience. Governments could shut down websites, but not the flow of Bitcoins. Early adopters, libertarians, activists and risk-takers saw Bitcoin as a tool for financial freedom. The community was wild and chaotic. Fortunes made and lost, wallets forgotten and exchanges hacked. But in this digital wild west, Bitcoin's technology was tested and proven. The movement grew, fueled by passion and the promise of a new kind of money. Bitcoin survived its turbulent beginnings, emerging stronger and more valuable. The foundation for a revolution was set. By 2013, Bitcoin's price soared from $13 to over $260, grabbing headlines worldwide. The Cyprus banking crisis drove people to seek alternatives and Bitcoin's borderless nature made it a safe haven. Media frenzy brought a wave of new users, no longer just techies but everyday investors chasing quick gains. The first major Bitcoin bubble had arrived, transforming it into a global phenomenon. But the rise was followed by a spectacular crash, with prices plummeting over 70% in days. The collapse of Mt. Gox, the largest exchange, wiped out fortunes and exposed the risks of unregulated markets. Each boom and bust cycle tested Bitcoin's resilience, but the network endured. The community learned hard lessons, building better security and infrastructure. Bitcoin's story became one of survival, each crash weeding out speculators and strengthening the core. The pattern was set. Hype, crash, rebuild, repeat. With every cycle, Bitcoin's foundation grew stronger. The world was watching, and Bitcoin was here to stay. The chaos of Mt. Gox and wild price swings drew the attention of regulators worldwide. Some countries banned Bitcoin, others tried to fit it into existing laws, treating it as a commodity. The era of lawless crypto was ending, but a new chapter was beginning. Wall Street, once dismissive, started to take notice. By 2017, institutional investors saw Bitcoin as digital gold, scarce, uncorrelated and full of potential. The 2017 bull run sent prices to nearly $20,000, fueled by both retail mania and institutional interest. Bitcoin futures launched on major exchanges, signaling its arrival in mainstream finance. 
Another crash followed, but this time the infrastructure remained. Major firms built custody and trading services, preparing for the next wave. The crypto winter shook out the hype, but the builders kept building. Bitcoin was no longer a fringe experiment. It was a recognized financial asset. The groundwork for mass adoption was laid. 15 years after its birth, Bitcoin is a multi-trillion dollar asset held by individuals, companies and even nations. Countries like El Salvador have adopted it as legal tender. Corporations use it to hedge against inflation. The approval of Bitcoin ETFs in 2024 opened the doors to mainstream investors. Bitcoin has survived hacks, crashes and crackdowns, each challenge making it stronger. Its decentralized design, once doubted, is now its greatest strength. No leader, no off switch. The technology sparked a wave of innovation. Blockchains, DeFi, NFTs, all inspired by Bitcoin's example. While many projects will fail, the movement toward decentralization is unstoppable. Bitcoin's true legacy may be as a check on centralized power, a savings tool for the world, and a working alternative to traditional money. The questions Satoshi asked about trust and control are more relevant than ever. Bitcoin's story isn't finished, but it has already changed the world. It stands as proof that a single idea can reshape our digital future.